Writing for print media advertisement requires learning the strategic planning techniques required to sell, distribute and profit from the publication of products and services in the print media vehicles. Print advertising is an umbrella term that encompasses mass media advertisement vehicles of various kinds in the newspapers, magazines, marketing materials like leaflets, banners, flyers, posters and extends to include the out-of-home advertisements like billboards, hoardings as well. This module presents a comprehensive discourse on how to write for print media advertisements. Students will learn about the principles, tools and methods of advertising used to sell the products and services through the art of skillful advertising. In the post-modern and post-globalized scenario, digital advertising has overtaken the print media advertising but still, the print media ads click with a large number of populations living in the country. Before we delve into the strategies and aesthetics of print media advertising, it is very important to understand what writing for print media advertising is and the technical lingo or vocabulary used by print media advertisers. Writing for print media advertisements is defined as the strategic art and science of innovative designing for product or service advertisements that communicate with the segmented, targeted and positioned audience or consumer population. There are two widely used models of print advertising to study the effects of advertisements on potential consumers. AIDA, A -I -D -A, Attention, Interest, Desire and Action model and DAGMAR, D -A -G -M -A -R, Defined Advertising Goals for Measured Advertising Results. Let us discuss both of these models in detail to enhance our understanding of print media advertising strategies. Traditionally, print media advertisers utilize all the four principles of the age-old IDA model to write effective advertisement. Number 1. Attention. The print media ad has to catch the attention of viewers. Composition of the advertisement is the important factor. That is, how is the ad composed by the copywriter? The advertisement writers have to make use of the aesthetic elements of art and principles of design in order to decide where and how to place the picture, text and empty space in the advertisement. Second, interest. After catching the attention of the viewer, the advertisement has to sustain the attention by creating interest in the advertised product or service. Here, the advertiser has to strategize to reach the right group of consumers by using segment target positioning approach. Selection of the appropriate media vehicles is important to decide who, when and how to reach. In this stage, the features of the product have to turn into benefits to intrigue the consumer. Third. Desire. The advertised benefits of the product as well as the glorification of the product using human emotions should create a desire in the consumer to buy the product. Advertising is all about creating desires. Fourth, action. All three steps, attention, interest and desire must instigate or motivate the consumer to take the purchase action. However, this stage is dependent on the purchasing capacity, willingness to buy and the utility of the product for the consumer. The second very essential model in advertising is Dagmar model, introduced in 1961. The stages of Dagmar are as below. First, awareness. The advertisement has to make the consumer aware of its presence in the market through the frequency of sight. Second, comprehension. The advertiser has to write about the benefits of the product or service to inform the consumer about what will the product do for them. Third, conviction. 
the print advertisement has to convince the consumer that the product or service is of utmost value, relevance and appeal to the consumer. Fourth, action. The awareness about the product or service, comprehension of its features and benefits as well as the conviction-led desire should cumulatively motivate the consumer to buy the product or service. Let us now discuss the writing techniques used in print media advertisement by the mass media vehicles. First, writing for print ads in newspapers. The advertisements have to decide in which newspaper to advertise for gaining maximum reach of the advertisements. The criteria used for selection of newspaper are the nature of publication, national daily, weekly, bi-weekly and advertorials, size of the newspaper, its distribution scale and its consumption patterns. Some advertisements take up two pages, some ads take one page and some take a small corner of the page. The types of advertisements published in newspapers are A. Classified advertisements is the most economical advertising. These ads are classified into certain categories like job, marriage, property, missing human and animals, sale of goods and services, travel officers, etc. And that is why they are called classified ads. Every word and sentence occupies space and is charged for. These ads are published on separate pages that are designated for ads only. There are two types of classified ads. Classified text ads. These ads are enhanced by background colors, bold font, increasing font size and creating a border around the advertisement. Classified display ads. These ads are less economical than the classified text ads because they contain some visuals like the logo or the pictures of the advertised product or color contrast between the heading, body and ending etc. How to write for a classified advertisement? First. Headline is also called ticket on the meat. The headline has to catch the attention of the newspaper reader. It has to be written in capital letters and can be optionally written in bold and highlighted font. Write the headline using action verbs like wanted or urgently required. The ad has to create a curiosity in the reader to know more. The heading is not more than three words. Second, body of the ad has to contain all the important information in brief with the correct use of punctuation. Remember, every word is charged for, so writing for the body copy has to make judicious use of words. Write product benefits alongside the features by separating them using comma and semicolon. The ad body is written in simple, short, objective and concise language. Third, call to action. Give the contact details, phone number, email address, residential address where the reader can contact after reading the ad. Example of a classified text ad. First, example of a classified display ad. Display advertisements are mostly found in the newspapers and these have high impact on consumers and are costly. These ads can be black and white or in colors. Unlike classified ads, display ads are not restricted by the size. The advertorials like Delhi Times carry full-paged display ads every day. These ads are used by retained brands and large-scale businesses for their promotion. How to write for a display advertisement? First, a rough layout of the ad has to be prepared by the copywriter, specifying space for pictures and text. Second, the most attractive offer or bait of the ad is to be written at the top as the heading in the bold and in font color different from the rest of the ad copy. It has to be invite the reader towards the advertised product or service. Please see the color contrast and coordination of the advertisement. Third, the company logo has to be positioned in the ad to add emphasis to the organization as a brand. Fourth, the features and benefits of the product can be written in tabular form or as bullet points one after the other. Fifth, the incentives, exciting offers and discounts have to be highlighted in separate boxes. The placement of the incentives has to be either at the center or in the bottom corner. Sixth, call to action has to be detailed in the display ads as there is more space available to utilize. Copywriter must give the authentic contact information including the phone number, official address, email address, website address, etc. Example of display advertisement. Public notices. 
are pieces of information issued by the government, private organizations or individuals in public interest. There are separate sections in newspapers where you can find public notices. These are placed adjacent to the ads that notify missing persons or ads announcing the death ceremonies of people. These notices are legal and industrial in nature. Public notices can be in the form of classified ads or display ads. The charges of public notices in newspapers are per square centimeter. How to write a public notice in newspaper? Public notice is always written in a box using formal language. Use attention grabbing words in the beginning of the notice. Public notices are written in brief, objective and purely factual language. Use of literary words is strictly prohibited in this format. The facts are written first, followed by the explanations and invitation of public and civil society participation in the discussed matter. Clearly mention the date and location of the events at the bottom left of the notice after the body copy finishes. Include contact information for effective call to action. Example of public notices in newspaper. Writing for print advertisements in magazines. Magazines have more segmented, targeted and positioned readers as compared to other print media vehicles. Therefore, it is easier and more convenient for the advertisers to invest in magazine advertisements for geographically and psychographically dissected readers. The creative quotient of magazine ads is higher in quality and design domains. It is often seen that a single advertisement occupies both the pages of the magazine without having distinct margins. It is called bleed in the parlance of magazine advertising. The advertisement writer has to ask these questions to sell while writing a magazine ad copy. What are the needs, wants and desires of my targeted customers? What is the USP of the new product to be advertised? How can I turn the product features into benefits while writing the ad copy? How to write the headline of magazine advertisement? Add newsy elements to the headline by using words like announce, introduce, brand new, alert, etc. For example, read the headline, introducing a brand new way to reduce weight. This headline makes use of newsy words like introducing and brand new. These words make the headline catchy, strong and impactful. Promise a realistic benefit in the headline by using words like guarantee, 100% proof, etc. to attract the attention of the reader. For example, guaranteed body weight reduction in one month. Do not write vague headlines that do not match with the body of the advertisement. For example, luck, love and life. This headline does not mention what is the ad trying to sell and therefore is a poor example of headline. How to write the body copy and call for action of magazine advertisement. The body copy elucidates and explains the features and benefits of using the advertised product or service. It also mentions the promise of the advertising brand in terms of guarantee or warranty, price and authenticity of the product. The body copy should turn the reader's attention into interest by discussing the USP, unique selling proposition of the product as well as the benefits on the purchase. Write the unique features of the product that can differentiate it from the other products offered by the brand's leading competitors. Make the reader believe that the claims made in the advertisements are authentic and true. One of the ways to achieve this is by advertising the testimonials. This is commonly seen in the ads of universities and institutions where students and faculty members share their personal experiences as testimonials and those are used as advertisements with their pictures in the magazines. The other way to make believe in your advertised claims is that you mention very specific details about the product. Writing call for action is very essential for the customers to know more about the product and purchase it. It includes the contact number, email address and the official address of the contact person as well as the contact timings. Example of magazine advertisement. Writing for out of home that is OOH advertisements. Writing for out of home ads involves writing for billboards and transit advertising done on interior and exterior of public transport vehicles. These ads have to communicate the message and advertise the upcoming product or service instantly as the viewer only glances through these ads for a few seconds. The ad copy for billboards and posters have to be sharply edged, very creative and brief. It is important to know the uses of out-of-home advertisements. First, the reach of out-of-home ads becomes wider precisely every person seeing the billboard or the poster. 
This makes it possible for billboards to reach general and specific target groups. Second, the billboard is present at a particular spot for at least a month, so the viewers have ample of chances to see the advertisement. This gives the capacity of repeated exposure to these ads. How to write a billboard advertisement? Innovate, research and strategize your idea optimally. Out-of-the-box ideas work well for outdoor ads rather than the regular and outdone ideas. It has to be very fresh and exciting for the viewers to share on social media. Condense all the information in minimum words. Do not use more than one sentence in the billboard ad. Too many words can amount to visual clutter in the billboard. Keep it very simple and concise. Keep the idea simple yet very innovative and creatively establish it through the pictures, color and font. The picture has to be at the center of the frame with a lot of space for the gaze. Use the principle less is more while writing outdoor advertisements. Example of billboard advertisement. Example of transit advertisement or mobile billboard advertisement. A very strategically on point example of transit advertising is Ola's ad in the public transport buses. It is for the bus travellers to notice the option of using a cab at an economical price of rupees 100. Important guidelines for writing a print media advertisement. Baseline research to understand the target market and potential customers profile. Detailed research will give you the knowledge base about the people you are addressing, their demographic and psychographic details and their budget estimates. Understand the needs, wants and desires of the potential consumers and accordingly you can find ways to boost the language of the print ad. If you understand your target market well, you have better chances of creating profitable advertisements. Mix human emotions with logic. The presence of human emotions makes the reader connect with the ad, whereas the presence of logic satiates the pragmatic aspects of the ad, making it appealing as well as utility-oriented for the consumer. It is always the right mix of emotions and logic that works instead of making the advertisement either too melodramatic or too factual. Write in simple and colloquial language. The heading should be short, catchy and impactful. Use action verbs to make the headline. The body of the ad should be in points or table or shortest description possible, highlighting the key benefits gained from the features of the product or service. Avoid using jargons and technical terms that are unknown to the mass readers. Focus on the key element and keywords to add emphasis and direct the attention, interest and desire of the reader towards the aimed product. Elevate the brand and the product in the ad. The rules of composition should be used for creating aesthetically appealing visual ads that make the brand and its product stand out. Brand and product elevation can be done using color contrast, striking the visual balance in pictures, creating rhythm, unity or harmony or placing the elements using the rule of thirds. Select the appropriate image. The image should be large and impactful for the readers to stay with them for a longer period of time. It should be brimming with energy and emotions. A clear-cut call to action gives the reader the direction to head for buying the product or service. It has to be mentioned at the bottom of the ad in a separate font size and color. Following the 40-40-20 rule of advertising, which says that the successful advertising is a strategic mix of 40% for offering the right product, 40% for offering the product to the right audience in the target market and rest 20% for creating concept behind the advertised product. Conclusions Print advertising has been philipped by innovative, creative and strategically well-positioned advertisements in newspapers, magazines and outdoors. Writing for print advertisement demands researching the nature of your audience, the grammar of copywriting and the aesthetic principles of ad composition as well as using the words and images that click with the customers. Above all, it all depends on how the ad starts. I mean, the headline which is said to be the ticket on the meat. It would be appropriate to quote David Ogilvy here. On the average, five times as many people read the headline as read the body copy. When you have written your headline, you have spent 80 cents out of your dollar. Equally important is the call to action which leads the consumer a step nearer to the purchase action. This module covered with the various aspects of writing for print media advertising, ranging from newspaper ads to magazine ads to the outdoor ads. Hope this discourse has enhanced your understanding of how to write for print media advertisements. Till the next time, it's a goodbye.